Race 32, the Kranji Stayers Handicap, and we're in Singapore. Sunny Singapore, 2 mile, 3 furlong, 0 to 17. Up the top, we've got Tamino for Obi Wan. Goddell missed the put. Uh, point of interest, Dieppe. Frosty Verluga is the 5 to 2 favourite. Darren Howes. Da uh, Javelin Rumsey and Capdor Silver for me. And they're off. You ever get the chance? Just chilling out in Singapore is a nice place to be. Can be hot and humid. Probably is almost all year round. A bit rainy, but uh, it's, it's a nice city and it's actually really quite cheap to eat around there. A lot of the big food um, markets, food halls and things like that. Are just the, the food's cheap but a really good quality. And then some of the attractions they have on at night time with the light shows and things like that. It's a really good place to go. Anyway, we'll get back to the racing. And they're strung out, but there's no pace in the field. So we've got Dieppe up front, so early leader. Captor Silver down on the fence. Out wider is Goddell. They missed, missed the putt or put. Uh, then from Rumsey and Javelin, then we've got about three away to Frosty Veluga, the pre-race favourite, is running with Tamino and Point of Interest. I haven't been to the Cranji race track, but uh, if I get a chance to get away by myself, one day I will. The better half, she's not really into horse racing, so if I do it, I've got to slip off by myself. So they straighten up down the home stretch here for the first time, and Capdor Silver leads with the Epi. The Epi just puts the head in front again. God Bell's been three wide so far. Then we've got Mr. Put and Rum C and Javelin. And then two and a half away to point of interest. Frosty Veluga who's down on the fence. And Tamino. So no speed at all in the race so far. Past the winning post. We've got a lap to go. And it'll be interesting to see if we come in around on the inner track there. We definitely went around the outer track. First lap, and it's Dieppe, uh, Captor Silver, and Goddell. They're three across the track. In behind them is Mr. Put. Length away to Rumsey, a length to Javelin. Two lengths to Point of Interest. Then Frosty Veluga and Tamino. So anyone's race, still a long way to go. Just getting pushed along a bit there, Tamino. Probably not what the trainer wants to see. So it's Dieppe. Half length now to Goddell. Moving into third Javelin. Then we've got Capdor Silver. Missed the put. Rum C. Two and a half to point of interest. Tamino and Frosty Veluga. Sorry about that. It's got an insect flying around in front of me. So they're on the outer track again. Just inside the fur four furlong. And they'll straighten up here shortly on a quite a long stretch home and it's Dieppe back to the lead three quarters to Rum C then Javelin uh, also there's Mr. Put Goddell point of interest Frosty Veluga Capdor Silva falling out of the race and Tamino down to the two furlong and it's Dieppe and Rum C they're a little bit clear of Javelin and running home nicely as point of interest with a strong run could be there at the finish so they come on down to the furlong. It's Dieppe now joined by Rum C. Javelin and uh, point of interest running on. But it's Rum C in front at the half. Can it hold on from point of interest? Who's starting to dive? It's Rum C in front. Point of interest. Rum C wins from point of interest. Tamino finished nicely for third. See the replay here. And, of course, I'm happy. It's one of mine.
So Rumsey's got up. From point of interest, Alex Sherry, which jumped the favourite in the end. And that ran home nicely. And third was Tamino for Obi-Wan that gave us all a big head start and ran home to grab third. Then we had Javelin for Carl Aragonte fourth and Frosty Veluga.